I spent money in a couple different directions on this project. I'm starting to build it back up. Uh, one was rebuild kit from Reliance. Um, a rebuild kit and gaskets. The other thing was a uh, manual. I bought a, a case manual because some of the things are specific. And I had the heads the, the head redone. Um, the valves have to be just right. That's where you get most of your compression. It's not worth to do a like a half-ass build, and uh, it's not worth it, I don't think. So I had the cam bearings installed from the machine shop, and that's where I was at. So I had the cam also polished in the uh, crank balanced and the block mag. So that's that was a few bucks right there. Um, so I put in the cam. Easy enough, two bolts and a plate. Um, the crank is easy enough. It just slides right in with the correct bearings. Oil pump has two to three shims here, and that is for lash and a new O-ring that seals between the pump and the block so that it pushes pressure into the motor. And you have a new set of even though this one didn't look bad, I got new ones anyway. It didn't have enough cross hatching in the side. Let me beat that around a little bit more. It didn't have enough cross hatching. So I got a new set. So all it takes is two O-rings, one there, one there. Put them right in, tap them down with a block of wood. I'm ready to put in the pistons. So the pistons, they need to go in a certain way. Um, again, I, I always think taking something apart is super easy, and then putting it back together is where everybody always has a problem. If you notice, this is thinner. And that's thicker. They're all like that. Thicker, thinner. Thicker, thinner. Thicker, thinner. And that's because they have a, a slight twist to them on purpose. So, how to remedy that is when each one of these rods, there's a number. I don't know if you can see it. One, two, one, one, it'll say one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. And that's not for putting it in a correct order in the motor. What it's for is to make sure these two halves go together, not the other direction. So, if the piston has... If the piston has an arrow on it, which would go like this, pointing towards the front of the motor, okay? The number which yet whatever it is, one, two, three, or four, goes in this direction towards the cam. The cam's here. Goes installed like this. Not like this, but like this. If you just put in your pistons and however you want to, uh, your motor will run for a little bit, and then that'll be it. So if you're going to all this work to rebuild a motor, make sure you do things correctly. I mean, you know, the whole plastic gauge crap and all that the manual says to do plastic gauge but the manual was also printed in 19 what two back when the indians rolled the planes they also talk about using your asbestos gloves on hot parts so i'd rather take it to a machine shop and have them mill it correctly instead of plastic gauge this and asbestos gloves that whatever so your rings go your chrome one first, 
first. Second's the black, like uh, thin one, and then the, the third one is the one with the spring in it. And they go in order to rotate them. Your split, 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 split. Don't line them all up in a row. If you lined them all up in a row, your oil would roll right past it. So all I have to do is pop these in, and I'll show you how to do that. Put a key in one side. Flip it over, run your pin in, and then put the other key on. And you have this, of course. Aries to the front, go in that direction. And numbers there. That's how the piston goes in. And it doesn't matter if it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's not what the number means. It means that. That half and that half have to go together on the same side, pointing towards the cam. I'm also using a full syn synthetic, a, mo a Molly fortified grease. Um, people say to use it. People say not to use it. Thick coat, thin coat. Everybody seems to have their own preference. Mine is uh, light coat, very light coat. Um, nothing major because... What I do is let, once I get the motor broke in, I give it an oil change anyway. So, all that grease, a light coat of grease, will just help in the firing up is, is how I look at it. So, grease in here. And in here. See, that's dangerous. If I miss my orient orientation of it, it will go in backwards. So it's numbers on this side, arrows running that direction. Yeah. Straighten the motor up so that the rods hang directly down. Make sure your rings are not in a row. I like to split them out. Like, here's a split. Here's a split. Then I want that, yep, I want, I want them far enough apart so that when you compress the rings, and put it down in you have a that ring separation there's one over here one over here and one over here if they're all in a, in all in a row oil will shoot right down through them so all you do now is once you do that it's kind of difficult to work with one hand um ring squeezer like that tighten it up boop 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 and hit it with a hammer, pop it down in. I will tighten it up and show you how easy that is. Tape the phone to a jack stand. That'll work too. Here it is, nice and easy.
It's just super easy. We'll see on that, but it doesn't feel right. Should go down a little further. All that's left is throw these on. A little bit of grease, a little bit of grease. 50 pounds of torque. Make sure. I don't even know if you can see that on here. Well, that's stamp one. So I have it, number one rod is here, and it has to go the right direction, like. So yeah, you have your groove, your bearing goes in that clip. So number one has to match the number one on, and that would be cam side, be like this, wet right in the road. Figures. Get a little bit of grease on it. One cam side. Where is it? Over there. It'd be that way. See how see how easy you can mess up? Just about. Messed up. It's all good. One cam side. Ooh, tricky. Ooh, easy. I could rotate it, which, why don't I do that? I could rotate the pistons. I'm being kind of stupid about that. If I rotate, do these top two and then rotate them, it'd be easier to get to. Durr. <laughs> See? Doing dumb stuff. I got it anyway. Wow, sometimes they're hard to see. Number two. Cam side. Like that. It was not like that. Like that. Get it wrong. Your bearing won't be happy. Motor won't be happy. You gotta want it happy. Bob Ross motor. Happy, happy. Um, number three. Bad fingernails. How do you like that? Cam side. Wiggle it. Wiggle it. Just a little bit. Man, I need glasses. Number four. I think I can, should just rotate it. Durr. Or not. Or not. <laughs> They're not bolted. Cool. Bolt, 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 bolt. 50 pounds. That's that.